Hey everybody, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanellan and I had the esteemed privilege of sitting down with Jonah Nilsson of Dirty Loops for an hour and a half interview. I have broken up the interview into three different parts and it covers everything from how the band got together, how they started doing covers and also his solo stuff, his collaborations, uh, and we touched a little bit even on the new album, so you're going to want to see this. Uh, anyway, part one coming up. Hope you enjoy. Hey. Hey, now I can hear you. Sorry. Oh, oh good, good, good. We, uh, got, we get all the technical stuff. Oh, I like your hat. Oh, I like your shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, nice. Do you got one of these? No, I don't. I don't even have the shirt. Wow. That's a cool one. I'll let you in on a little secret. I, um, I've got this Teespring shop for my channel, and I have a private shop, and your logo oh. is online. So I got your logo, and I made myself a bunch of stuff. Really? <laughs> no one has access That's to so it. Cool. It's not for sale or anything. It's just for me and my girlfriend. <laughs> so I made shirts. <laughs> and I even have a pillow over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no way that's so cool i swear to you man oh dude <laughs> thank you thank you so much for freaking coming on and doing this with me i know you of must of course you must have just the craziest schedule this how's your day been going it's it's been going well i've been um actually having a bit of a day off today so oh um yeah i i needed that <laughs> i that's think pro so. probably uh, probably a rare thing for you these days huh Yes, uh, especially like um, I felt like it was even worse before or worse. It's good, you know, but like, yeah, yeah. When, you know, going on tour and stuff and then um, being when you're home, the only thing I do I have been doing is working. So, I, <sighs> yeah, it's, you know, uh, but it's also what I love to do. So I, I'm really not complaining about it. It's just it's it's my life. It's like a part of who yeah. I am. So um, it's all good. Yeah, I thought about, you know, you guys got started in 2008, right? 13, yes. <laughs> 13 years ago. So yeah. what a roller coaster it's been and must have been over the last 13 years. I mean, because yeah, yeah. tracking you from the early days, like I, I picked up on you guys really early and I, I see like the progression that you guys have had. And like, I see you in pictures with probably some of, you know, your, your, uh, idols, you know? And, and yeah. I, and I think to myself as a musician too, I'm like, I can't even imagine how your brain must be processing all of this. Right. Yeah. It, it, it definitely was early on since we, you know, we were three guys, music nerds from Sweden, who's never really been anywhere or done anything, or, you know, just, you know, um, uh, coming from that into that world straight away because yeah. it really happened very very quickly we put up up one video online and you know then it's just spread from there and just yeah oh, it's so it yeah. went really fast <laughs> so so yeah let's let's go back to that like see one of the things that blows my mind about th this whole thing with you is how you guys gain your popularity because you're playing together and all of a sudden there's a pivotal pivotal point for you where somebody said hey let's let's mess around with this cover right how did that happen how, how did it all go down it, it's scary how it actually is just like just like that like you described it it was like um we were in school all of us at uh the royal music academy in stockholm and practicing and playing we were session musicians playing um behind other artists mm -hmm. swedish artists and I think we all were very tired of just, you know, having this is this is your part and you're going to play this. <laughs> right. And we like I think everyone felt individually without even have spoken to each other about it, like feeling like we need to expand and, you know, develop somehow, do something. And then Aaron just came up to me and asked me, um, hey, Joan, are you seeing a little bit? <laughs> 
And <laughs> that's I, one I, hell of I, an I, understatement. <laughs> you know, you know, but I, I didn't know at the time that I, I mean, I, I always sang a little bit, but I never sang lead or anything in a band or anything like that before. I, I did play, yes, but not, not singing like that, mm. especially not lead. So, um, and he was like, yeah, do you want to get together and play a little bit like with Henrik, you know, the emo yeah. looking cool guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and just fool around. Like, let's have a, let's take a famous pop song and just do something weird with it. Wow. That was like, so Aaron really nailed the whole concept from oh. day, like from that like thing. And, so, and then we just got together and we played, we had one rehearsal. And it was like a little bit of a scary moment, not, not a, a, like a positive scary moment where we were right. just like, um, it's like we've always played together in a, in a way. Wow. And it was just so easy and so fun. And like we, we grew this like, yeah, passion for it. And like um, um, something I, I would say like, um, I think it's, it, you can see it in all the videos too, that it's, um, um, we have a lot of fun when we play and yeah oh yeah and it's just it's it's been like that for, for from the very start it's like been uh, we just have so much fun <laughs> so like what so, was what was the what was the first tune that you guys reimagined because uh, i know you guys put out just mm -hmm. dance that was like your mm -hmm. first cover right was that the cover that you guys first worked on and or was it something else no. that then you shifted or what happened yeah we, we the first absolute first song from the first rehearsal was please don't stop the music with rihanna mm. uh, please don't stop the music yeah oh, and yeah. we just um yeah we we made this fun arrangement of it and just played around with it and mm. yeah we haven't really re released any recording of it or anything but it's oh, wow. uh, we've played it live a couple of times mm. and, and it's really fun Wow. So that, that so, was, yeah. that was the first, the first one. And then, and then you guys worked out just dance. And then at that time, did you guys like, how did the videos come into it? Did you have a video for, for just dance or how, what that came later or. No, we, we, yeah, we, uh, no, we didn't have a video or anything. It's mm -hmm. just like, we, we started on a, an arrangement and then Aaron came up with the idea. I think it was um, to just like, let's film it when we oh. play oh wow you know and it just happened to be aaron is really a he, he's the one editing all the videos wow, man. for everything and still is to this day oh, um so he uh, he had just found all the funny fun angles and all the energy is and his you know how he cuts stuff together man and um yeah so it started and we put it up and it was just from that moment it's just something happened i don't know <laughs> It caught, it caught fire and then you guys yeah. did another one and then another one. And then you're like, yeah. Oh my gosh, we we've got something here. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah. my gosh. Was there like, um, was there a cover that you guys did that you scrapped? I mean, there must've been some covers that you've done that were like, okay, this ain't working. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely ideas, but I, I'll tell you something about this band in particular that that we don't, if we go for it, we go for it. And if we don't go for it, we don't go for it. Like things take, takes a long time for us to do, to make. Like, cause usually I, I, we're really working on getting better at doing that. But like, um, I personally am very, I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist that to the point that sometimes I like, I can't even get it done because I, I just hate on everything I do. So, um, and I know, yeah, we've struggled with that a lot. So whenever we've, um, you know, we found something like an idea of a, of an arrangement for a song we'd be like, Oh, thank God. <laughs> you know? right. oh, Rather than like, let's do that. Oh, that doesn't work. Anymore. You know, like oh, we yeah. never did that, you know? Right. So we're like, yes, like finally we can oh, move on with gosh. this, you know? So yeah, it's either, either that or nothing, you know? Right, right. So you know you've got something. When you, you're not going to spend any time. If it's not working from the beginning, you're going to go, yeah. okay, this, this isn't happening. And you're extremely exactly. meticulous. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, do the other guys get irritated with you? <laughs> There's Jonah again. He thinks be yeah. ridiculous. He's too ridiculous. <laughs> definitely. I think I can. <laughs> that happens definitely more in the past than it is now. Cause I realized that I am 
I have been a, a bit of a pain in the ass there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been like, it's not the Discord is, a, <laughs> you know, uh, it could get a little bit better. And like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, <laughs> uh, so, you know. Yeah, now everybody, all the cards are on the table, so they know how you are right. and, every, and everything yes. else. So, yeah. so you guys like. At some point, you wanted to launch off and do originals because you're probably like going, "Hey, look, man, we we got to have our own identity. We we've got to have our own music." And then you're you're thinking, "Okay, uh, maybe it's time to put the covers on the shelf and and do some yeah. original stuff." That's got to be a scary transition for you guys. Oh yeah, that that was actually like like I said before, everything went very fast. So we had no thought at all about making our own music. That was completely, you know, like no, that's not what we're doing. We're doing cover songs. And then our manage, uh, manager at the time, Andreas Carlson, mm -hmm. who managed us in the beginning, uh, who took took us to the states and introduced us to David Foster and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's later. Um right. he uh, he came up with the idea you we have to write music for you like you have to write your own music because you just have to and we were like no nah, i don't know and then we've like i have i had written for songs for um a bunch of artists mm -hmm. uh, before i started with dirty loop so mm -hmm. i had a little bit of experience and i know mm -hmm. like the guys have been uh, playing around and do uh, a bunch too and writing for other people and writing all kinds of music so yeah. people had all of us had experience in the right. area right um uh, so um yeah we we tried it tried it and just yeah it took us some time but we realized we found the the formula to do it was to write very very simple pop songs like and with simple i mean like just like it should work with piano and vocals like in its simplicity um just like this and then after you write the song as, as, as so, so it's as clear as possible then we loopify it as, loopified uh, your own yeah. songs yes Brilliant. so all the songs has like a, an, another you know version of it oh which is completely god. plain without any changes or anything yeah oh my god jonah that's that, what i had to do <laughs> that is that is freaking brilliant because you were yeah. just applying the same process that you were doing with the covers to your own yeah. pop songs yes that's oh what we god. had to do <laughs> wow man are you like are you guys still going to continue because i mean your original material and i'll get into this a little bit more but your original material is so strong so oh, so so so, much. so incredibly strong man and like you don't have to do covers anymore i mean you're you're no. now you guys are standing on your own feet your, your originals are killer do you guys ever like say hey let's you know let's do another cover or put another cover or is that like did you guys put that to bed is that done or or what i don't think so i think anything at this point where we are right now i think things have never been better um for us right now i feel like the dynamic in the group is fantastic mm. and i think anything can happen and that's what's beautiful with this group that's why i always loved being in this group because we really don't have any boundaries of what we choose to do. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we want to do is to shock in any so, sort of way. Like oh, it yeah. doesn't matter if we would do a, we could do a pop song, just, just like a, a really commercial pop song, as long yeah. as all of us like it. And it's like where we love. Yeah. If we lo love it, then we don't care if it's like only mainstream, we, we're just going to do it because we love it. And it, if, if if we want to do a rock and roll song, that's what we're going to do. Wow. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, wow, man. Just so, going to go for it. Yeah, like, you know, so now, but I mean, uh, I, I don't know too much about what you got, if you guys are signed to a label or how any of that goes. Are you guys, are you guys signed to a label? Are you guys calling your no. own shots? Okay, good. Yeah, we're, we're doing everything ourselves at the moment. Um, we used to be signed um, to Universal, to Verve. Um, yeah. Universal with David Foster. But yeah, right now we're not anymore. So uh, yeah, it, it suits us at the moment. Um, but oh. who knows for the future, what the future holds. Oh man, that's, that's definitely. It's great to hear that you guys are in that position because that means, like you said, you can do whatever you want. At this yeah. point, the freedom from Definitely. from that is, man, that's yeah. great. So, 
out of all your songs, out of all the all the tunes that you have, including your solo stuff, which I want to talk about in a second here, what song or songs do you look forward to performing? Performing? Oh, that's a oh, it's a hard one. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I it's really hard to you know just choose one, but. Um, I think that goes in in like it, it's it's different in different periods. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I really I'm really looking forward playing work shit out. Sorry if I said that word. Oh no, but yeah, <laughs> no, you can say that. On my, you can say that on my channel. Believe me. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, so I think it really goes like I think that the thing I look forward to the most playing is usually the thing we recently put out, yeah. like the latest music. Fresh, yeah. I'd say, yeah. Yeah. The, um, whatever that is, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, whatever's, whatever's fresh. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I've caught some live versions of your stuff. You know, I think I even did a reaction yeah. to a show, one of the shows that you did. I don't remember what it was, but um, somebody had asked me in the comments about uh, uh, pitch correction and your vocals and all of this stuff, you know, asking me questions. Mm -hmm. Do you think he uses that? You think he uses? And I said, you know, um, go watch this live footage and then come back and ask me because yeah. <laughs> live you kill it. I mean, yeah. you're, <laughs> you're so on pitch, man. Somebody, somebody has said to me in the comments on the channel that they thought you had frets, frets <laughs> in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah because, because well you're so on your pitch is so on <laughs> oh, thank you so much no i i really don't use any of that not even um actually like uh i think it was like more of a thing in the beginning like when we did uh, our first record loopified yeah we had like um i think i also as a singer have developed uh quite a lot during this whole time since i didn't even you know, I didn't um, sing before all of this, mm. uh, like th this, all of this whole, whole things, uh, the whole thing started. I didn't sing in that this way that I'm singing now. Mm. So it's been a very long developing curve for me. And I think in the beginning where we, if we had like a, um, something that needed to be done very, very quickly or like uh, on, on a specific recording that we needed to do for something in particular, like, and we didn't have time to do something. We just corrected something. Right. But like, um, as for now, and as it's been for so many years, I don't, I, I, I don't like doing it for, right. for myself. Like right. there's none of that stuff like ever. Oh, um, I, I just, I just, it's also nice to, uh, it's nice practice also. Exactly. Um, Right. In order to, you know, you know, you don't really need it. <laughs> right. Like um, you said, it's, it's, uh, you use it just to facilitate in recording mm -hmm. or whatever and go, look, okay, look, yeah, I could do this 10 more times. We don't have time for this. Just correct yeah. it. Cause I could, I could do it yeah. in, in the fourth or fifth take, take, but we got to get going. And that's how exactly, that's a, as a yeah. using it as a tool, but yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Because if you don't rely on it, you're forced to do it. And, and you still got to go play live, you know, cause there yeah, are, are, exactly. are singers that are, that are, killing their vocals with the pitch correction and then they go out and have to do mm. it live and then it's like okay yeah. the mask is off at that Definitely. point you know yeah plus like i like i said it's it's been my absolute uh, best practice tool like to not mm. correct anything even from the very beginning where we wow. when we did have time yeah. you know try to nail it on the record and then you may maybe i nailed it once and then i couldn't <laughs> right. really do it anymore and then you know okay, we have to play live, darn it to toast. <laughs> and I, you know, I, and I had to like go and practice it even more and fail live, definitely fail live so many times, like failed out of my mind. Like, but you know, that's what it takes to, to, uh, to, to, to develop if you really want to do it. So, and I yeah. felt the, yeah, the need <laughs> oh to do gosh. that. Yeah. And look where you ended up. There are reaction videos of, um, some of your some of your riffs, like so out, of, out of some of the songs that you're doing, and there are vocalists. There's one reaction video I saw where somebody, the task is to try to replicate your your riff, and and they oh. and they listen to it and they break it down and they and this is long video of them trying to do <laughs> that riff. It's hilarious. It's it's so funny because oh. it's 
it's like it's something that you just can just pull off in a moment's notice and then they're yeah. in there like wood shedding and trying to like break it down and, and oh, figure out all the that's little nice. things. I'll, <laughs> I'll send it to you if i find it i'll send it to you yeah because, yeah please <laughs> oh man it, 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 it's hilarious but you know that reminds me of the the conversation that that we had um about you guys having to replicate what you're playing for the videos oh yeah yeah so so talk about that a little bit about having to go through that process yeah well yeah it is you know you just have to you know so, some of the things are very spontaneous that you do when you play like if you play a pi piano mm -hmm. part um you, you do some some stuff like just out of the blue and it's like very loose yeah and it doesn't you know um it doesn't really make sense in terms of time unless you really freaking analyze it. But, you know, um, that's for me, it's been the hardest part to like relearn, try to listen to what you did. And like, I think it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're and, like, it's uh, close yeah. enough because if they're videotaping you and if it's a yeah. half step off, no one's going to go back and check your work, you right. know? So it's exactly. like, okay, it's yeah. good enough. Just make the hand look, look right you know yes yes but it, yes but it is but but you guys do such an amazing job i mean uh all of you all of you do, do that i mean i mean because i mean the level that you guys are at i mean is ridiculous as musicians no. I, I mean absolutely ridiculous thank and you aaron, man aaron like i'm watching so closely man i'm yeah. watching so closely and he's pulling off all those fills and i'm like God, that's got to be live but it's yeah well, it is, I guess. I mean, it's it's yeah. not, but it's but it is because right. he's doing it right. exactly uh, as it is, as all of us are. But you know, right? Um, yeah, it sounds exactly like that. Like he's just they sound perfectly alike. Right. Like it's absolutely ridiculous what he can do. He's just such a underrated, totally like drummer or musician in general. He's just such a mastermind. Um, uh I'd say like for, for so, so many of our songs and so is Henrik too, like yeah. both of their, um, how much work they put into all of this is amazing. And I really think that's worth mentioning. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely, man. I, you know, please tell me, cause you guys went to school together, right? All three of yeah. you, please tell me you're the best ones in the school, because if there's anyone <laughs> better than you guys, you're going to fry my brain. I'm telling you man. because if they're guys better than you, Forget about it. <laughs> I'm quitting. I'm, I'm gonna sell all those guitars. I'm done. Oh, because my because my <laughs> God, I, I you know, I thought that it's you know, because when you're that good, you gravitate to guys that are at your level. I mean, that's kind of a musician tip, mm. musician thing to do anyway, is that you gravitate to guys at your level. So I thought that you guys were probably hunting around who's the best keyboard player. That's Jonah, who's the best drummer. That's right. Aaron, and and seeking each other out. And go, hey, let's make a super group, you know, with the best guys. Right. You had to have been, and I know you're modest, Jonah, and you're not going to say it, <laughs> but you guys, please tell me you guys were at the top in, the, in, in your school. Well, uh, I can't really say anything about, I, I, for, from, for myself, I, I, uh, I think I was at the point where I didn't know where to go. You know, I was mm -hmm. really, um, I didn't know, I didn't know I could sing like I could sing, maybe, mm -hmm. and I didn't know I had an easy i didn't know how easy it was for me to make arrangements and how far i could stretch in terms of making chords and yeah. all of that i really didn't know and i don't think aaron and henrik knew that either wow. but what i can say about aaron and henrik i think they've been like superstars since since high school mm -hmm. both of them like wow. they've been they've been people i've been looking up to since you know since, since i got into the music high school that we went to all of uh, the three of us wow um before yeah long before everything ever begun uh, they've been yeah just absolute monsters but i think what actually connected us is that i uh, i had so many conversations with aaron about this um especially like how we both i think look at i'm sure henrik is feeling the same way but when, when it comes to musicianship there's like there are players um who are great players, piano players, mm -hmm. and they're like great drummers out there. But are, there are other, like how I see myself, I think I see myself as a creator who wants to learn all of these things as tools to create mm -hmm. in order to create what I want to create. 
Right. Exactly. I, like, I, for example, I don't see myself as a singer, really. I don't see myself as a piano player, really, either. Wow. I just see myself that these are things that I need. Tools. To create what I want to create. Wow. And Aaron says that all the time, too. Like, I don't feel like a drummer. Not at all. Wow. And he, in my eyes, he's not a drummer either. He's just, you know, someone who like likes to, you know, create this whole thing. Like he That's... wants to write the melodies. He wants to be in in everything. You know. Yeah. How does the songwriting go with you guys? Like, you know, especially with your original stuff now. It's usually, um, most of the time, it's two and two how we write songs. So one person start an idea and then. Either I go to Aaron or Henrik and we write it together or that's like the other way around. So always in pairs. Wow. And then it always ends up um, like with a finished song. Mm. And then we go in and loopify it a little bit again. Right. Like, um, but it's been now I think we're uh, developing some kind of um, if like it, it always needs this song in itself needs to have some kind of um, thing mm. or like mm. something that really is that is there already before we start loopifying it because we don't want to we just want to have it you know like as much as yeah as clear as possible and like some it has to have that little thing that makes it stick out yeah and then we can build out off of that but if it's just like a pop song now I feel like we've been there done that so many times and we need to find more than that so the songs needs to be better and better i feel like and right um yeah yeah you know <laughs> um the video like it, i'm really curious about how you came across my reaction video for next to you how, how did you end up seeing seeing the, the my reaction video i have no idea actually pop up or someone tell it you about it i think someone told me about it like something and be, I, i'm actually not sure to be honest <laughs> like i it, it popped up somewhere where someone told me and i watched it and i i it left me in tears too oh man like really because it, it's like um you you were so genuine and i oh. i immediately sent it off to aaron aaron and henrik and <sighs> You know, those kind of things are so important for us because it's, it, it's, it really is so much work and so much, you know, heart uh, being put into all this work. And you don't get to see right. what people actually feel about it, like generally feel about mm -hmm. it. But when, how you reacted to it made me feel like, I believe <laughs> that he <laughs> feels this way. <laughs> well, I got and it. it like, hits uh, me a little bit, you know, yeah, that yeah. it's just like... Wow, I all of that work. Yeah, I'm so happy that you had that reaction. It oh really helped. Oh my helped. gosh! Yeah. So yeah. by the time I hit that man, I mean, I got to tell you, just for me to you personally, thank you, thank you, oh. <laughs> thank you so much, man, because that it 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 really did change my life. And I'm not being overly dramatic when I say that because. You renewed my excitement for it, and and now I'm back to studying. I've got all my books and stuff. 20th Century Harmony in the back. I don't know if you know yeah. that book, right? I, yeah, I'm renewing. It's renewed my love of music and my interest in it. And man, I I just I I'm I'm so blown away by you guys. Oh, I man, I'll probably I'll probably cut this so part. Much. I'll probably cut this part out of the, yeah. out of the interview. But I I had to oh, tell really. you. I had to tell you yeah. because. Um, I, I'm I'm not the only one that feels that way. I have a lot of conversations mm. with people on my channel about what your music does for them as well. Mm. And you know, we have conversations about that because you guys are bold in doing yeah. what you're doing. Seriously, yeah. because it's like, you know, a lot of groups, they're looking for success, they're looking for the money, they're looking for whatever else. Mm. And music is not the priority. It's, mm. it's, it's these other things, right? Right. Because a vehicle, but not with you guys. And this is why I have so much respect for you because the music comes first. It's obvious that the mm. music comes first with you guys. And that's, that's what I love. And that's why I'm a hardcore fan. I don't have anyone else's t-shirt that I bought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for saying that. I don't, I, I feel speechless. I don't even know what to say about that. It's just, that's, 
it really makes me i told you this on text but like i i'm i really feel like that is what drives me like really m- makes me want to go you know go harder whenever whenever i'm in a situation where like for example yesterday i was in a situation where i felt like uh, i'm working on a uh, on a, um um arrangement of a song right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. for dirty loops oh wow I can't really tell you what I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> um, it is.